Welcome to this introductory video on the Veteran Appointment Request app, also known as VAR. VAR will allow veterans to schedule appointments or request appointments for their providers. During this video, we'll talk about what VAR is and what it does. This is just a quick introduction to VAR. We will have additional videos to provide step-by-step -step processes for how to use VAR. Let's talk about the current veteran experience when scheduling appointments. Currently, if veterans don't make appointments when they leave the clinic, they need to call in and talk to a scheduler. If the scheduler isn't available, the veteran may sit on hold until the scheduler is available. They may also have to leave a message. Then, the scheduler calls back. If the veteran isn't available, this starts a fun game of phone tag. The process can take a few minutes, hours, or even days. Another challenge is that it can be difficult to remember which days have which appointments. We all lose track of our schedules from time to time or forget why an appointment was made. So how can we improve this experience? Using VAR, veterans will be able to take better control of their health care. Veterans will have additional options to schedule appointments with their primary care and mental health providers, improving the efficiency of VA appointment scheduling. Veterans will have one stop to schedule and view their appointments. It is important to note, VAR should not be used for emergency purposes. If you have an emergency, please be sure to call 911 or the Veterans Crisis Line. For urgent matters related to an appointment, veterans should call their facility directly. VAR has several functions. Some veterans can directly schedule primary care appointments if they are assigned to a primary care provider. This means no phone call, just a few clicks to a scheduled appointment. Or, veterans can request an appointment for a primary care or mental health provider by providing up to three options for schedulers to choose from, giving the veteran control of their options. And, veterans can view and cancel their appointments through VAR. With the ability to view and cancel appointments, veterans have a better understanding of when they have appointments and why. And, if anything comes up, veterans can cancel the appointment, allowing others to be seen. Let's take a moment to discuss the difference between directly scheduling an appointment and requesting an appointment. Directly scheduling an appointment means that veterans will be able to pick a date and time for their appointment based on the availability of their primary care provider, and then actually book the appointment themselves. The other option in VAR is the ability to request appointments for primary care and mental health providers. Veterans can select up to three days that work in their schedule and submit the request in VAR. Schedulers will review the request and then work to process it to meet the veteran's preference within three business days. If schedulers are unable to meet the preferred dates, they will contact the veteran to find alternative times. Keep in mind, this option is currently only available for primary care or mental health appointments, and veterans can only request one primary care appointment and up to two mental health appointments at a time. This option is only available at facilities where the veteran is currently registered. With both the direct scheduling and requesting an appointment, if a veteran receives a return to clinic order for their appointment, they should choose an option that fits within their schedule that is as close to the return date as possible. There are a few requirements for using VAR. VAR is a web-based application that is available for any device with a compatible internet browser. So a veteran can use a computer, laptop, tablet, or even a smartphone, as long as it has internet connectivity and a compatible browser. In order to gain access, veterans will need to be enrolled in VA Healthcare and have a DS Logon Level 2 or Premium account. This type of account, provided by the Department of Defense, is meant to increase the level of security beyond a username and password to help protect your information. If you aren't familiar with DS Logon, there are resources available on mobile.va.gov that provide additional information. As we mentioned, if a veteran would like to request an appointment, they will need to be registered at a facility. And, to directly schedule appointments, veterans will need to be assigned to a primary care provider. For additional information on VAR, Go to the VA App Store at mobile.va.gov and look for the VAR app. Thanks for watching.